my name is Agata. Welcome in Agata's Cottage. Today is day one of 24 days of Christmas, the sewing edition. It's multi-channel Vlogmas tour organized by my dear friend Samantha from Sequin Girlie Creates and I. We both wanted to do something during Christmas, something festive, something sewing related. However, doing 24 days of Vlogmas, editing every day, uploading every day, is just not doable for either of us. And to note, there is a lot of other vloggers in similar position. We all wanted to do something Christmassy, something sewing related, so hence the idea of 24 days of Christmas. It meant to be 12, but there are so many of us that why limit ourselves? I have a whole list of vloggers participating in this vlogging tour. I will leave the schedule in the description below with all the channels linked. Yesterday you could watch a video by Sam. It was kind of introduction to the whole idea. And tomorrow you can see Judy from running so and so. Thank you Sam for organizing this event with me. I can't wait to watch all those videos. I'm very excited for everyone who is participating. I hope you will join in and watch with me. It will be kind of vlogging advent calendar where every day you will see different vlogger doing different things. We might talk about our Christmas sewing, about even Christmas shopping, about traditions, about the decorations. There could be some tutorials, you never know. So don't forget to tune in. Sam will create the playlist on her channel. So I will leave the link to the playlist below and every day there will be new vlogger added. So let's start with our video. I don't know if you are aware of tradition of Elf on the Shelf. It's not something that I grew up with, but it's so popular here in Ireland that elves appeared in our house a few years ago. We actually had one elf, then during pandemic we had another elf come over to help. So um, Alice got something special to share with you and I will put clips here. Okay, so I don't know what this is exactly. Just apparently it came uh, through the mailbox, I suppose you would call it. Yeah. Any people who really don't like when people don't not opening uh, envelopes properly, I'm sorry, but me. Yeah. So what is it? Uh, fish. What's that? Something from Santa. Okay, so could you read it out loud okay. and loudly? Dear Alice, I hope you are well and you and you are nice and kind as always. Your mom t tells me you were wondering if Elfie and Happy are coming back to your help house. Of course. Yeah, of course they are. They cannot wait to visit you again. Wait, who is Elfie and Happy? Uh, well, Elfie is my original elf, but Happy came over during the pandemic to help Elfie, I suppose. And uh, they've been coming back ever since. Okay. However, we have a problem. Recently, Elfie and Happy went on a trip to check Elves' retirement village and their lug luggage was lost on the way back to the North Pole. They do not have any spare clothes. I told them not to take all their clothes, but they didn't listen to me. Me and my elves are too busy making clothes for Christmas. Uh, toys for kids for Christmas. We cannot stop now and sew. I know you have been learning to sew, so I was wonder hoping you could be 
Santa's elf this year and make clothes for them. I'm sure your mum will help if you ask nicely. As you know, they are similar size to your Barbie dolls. They are coming on 1st of December, so there isn't much time left. Love, Santa. So what do you think? Nice. What the nice? It nice and happy and healthy and happy are coming back and that we can make clothes for them. Okay, so what do you think we should make for them? Mm. Do they need jumpers? Yes. Do they need panties? Do they need skirts or trousers? Yeah. And what else they might need? Need tops. Okay. And hats. Wait, no, not hats since they have hats already. Yeah. I think. And, and I think we have a perfect book with the patterns for that. Mm -hmm. And I think you can reach it there. You can show everyone. So. Yeah. Alice got that book. Was it last year or it was for birthday? It was birthday book or Christmas book? Christmas book, I think. Yeah. So I am telling you, we are not putting them in a fairy dress. We are so not putting them in a fairy dress. Okay, you need dress. to lift it up a little bit. Okay, so which one you think we should make them? Uh, okay, overalls and a skirt and a top. I'm not. I just picking the ones I can pick from, you know. Okay. Here they are alright and not too dressy. Dressy. Okay, so dressy. we'll go through the book, yes. Yes. Do some brainstorming. Yeah. We'll look through remnants and scraps of fabrics. Question. Yes. What is this one? Oh, that's the exercise outfits. Uh, what I does it look like she's it's wearing a oversized panties. No, no, it's called uh, leotard. So it's one oh, piece like a. Oh, that's what Tanisha wore for her uh, gymnastics competition. Yes, that's what you wear for gymnastic competition, mm -hmm. and that's what people wore in eighties when they were exercising. Okay. <clears throat> so. Make yeah. them chefs. Make them chefs. Do you think we should make them uh, chefs hats? Okay, do you think we'll have time for everything before first? So we'll need to limit ourselves a bit, yes? Okay, so we will make a list. Check it twice. <laughs> Man, we are not Santas. <laughs> but we are Santas elves, aren't we? Yes. So we have here letter from Santa. We have a book with Barbie clothes. And it's the book by Annabelle ben uh, Benilar. Yeah. So I'll, I marked here all the things that would be suitable for basics for elves. Okay. Because that's what they need, basics. So we'll make a list on the letter from Santa. What we need for elfie. Okay. And what we need for happy. So should I open it first? Yes, open it first. And what do you... So, on the... Well, well, the park thing. Okay, Munchkin, you can do it like that. So, on this one. Yeah. Uh, well, top, skirt and top. Okay, so maybe go through all the suggestions and then we decide which one. Okay? Okay. The next one is called Do It Yourself. Is this one. Top. And dungarees. Okay, and elves don't need hats, yes? Uh, they do have their elves' magic hats. They did have their hats. Unless they lost them. Let's they, hope they didn't. Then there's fashion fun. So the dress mm -hmm. and the jacket. Okay. And then in the country... The trousers. And then in in the city these are all called things. So the bag, the scarf, and the cardigan. Then there's in the snow, the vest and the jumper.
Then on a walk on the beach, the trousers mm -hmm. and the top. And then vintage chic chic at the trousers. Okay. Then finally a night on the town the jacket. Okay. So for sure they both need scarves, yes? Yes. So I'll put a scarf on both. Okay. Now they both need either a cardigan or the jacket. So which one you like the most? Hmm. I think I like the cardigan. Okay. Yes, this one. Okay. So for for Elfie or for Happy? Elfie. Okay. And, and which page is that? Sixty-two. Okay. Okay, maybe this. Okay, best. Yes. And which page is that? Uh, 76. Okay, so he will also need the top of the turtleneck, yes? Yeah, I was pointing to that. Oh, okay. So, now they need some bottoms. No. Okay. Those trousers? Are these trousers? Mm -hmm. No, I think there's either mistaken printing or something else because this Barbie has no feet. I think they are just buried in the sand. No, I think I... They are meant to be buried in the sand. Okay, or these trousers? I think those might be better because elves aren't as slim as Barbie. So okay. those one. So we'll do one uh, trousers for them both? Yes. Okay, so trousers, what page is that? 40. So now we need some tops for them, as a, at least actually we need the top for Elfie because she has a cardigan. So Happy will be okay with the jumper and the vest. This one? Yeah. So it's top and what page is that? 86. 86. Okay. So now, do they need any accessories like bags or no? Would they be okay? Eh, uh, I think it's the basics. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe. We can make them something in the future, yes? Yeah. Okay, because that would be a lot of sewing anyway, yes? Yeah. Especially with school and other stuff. Yeah. So, we we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things to make. Hmm. Do you think we're up to challenge? Yeah, but I don't think we'll make them all before the 1st of December. We might. I will trace patterns now because Wait, I'll... We have four days so that would mean two things a day yes i think we can do it because scarf is easy mm -hmm. trousers will be the same pattern mm -hmm. so we can patch sew them mm -hmm. and that will help so we can do it yes okay so now alice will go work on her school project and mommy will get on with tracing the patterns we have some fabrics here and Alice will show you what we have. They are some remnants from my stash that are suitable for various uh, clothes for elves. So here is the first pile that mm. might be good for top or for vest or even for trousers. Okay, yeah. so the first one is uh, velour. Next one is remnant of French terry from Ecobi have some cotton waffle. I have a bit more uh, in my stash. I have a cotton jersey. I'm here is some French terry. This one is a bit of French terry from my stash. One is a brushed French terry. Um, it's very sturdy. It doesn't have much stretch. A bit of French terry with the Lorex thread. Then we have um, uh, I I don't remember. What, I think that was alpine fleece or um, some kind of fl fleece back sweatshirt thing from the Beyond the Pink Door pile is things that we think it's suitable for trousers. So the trousers for the elf, there should be made out of woven or stable knit based on uh, the look of the trousers. So 
we have some fleece it doesn't stretch much so that would be perfect for the trousers then we have some uh, cotton i use this for dresses for product dress a girl um, then we have some cotton satin we have our work cut out for us yeah there will be a lot of sewing involved so we will decide off camera which part which fabric we will use for which pattern and we will show you a bit in progress footage later on so this side or this side whichever one you want just remember to take one clip first okay may i suggest something to you if you want to sew this side first i don't know which side it is so just do on this side so you don't have the fabric here you have fabric here lower the foot okay remember this is for back and forward and it's on the lowest setting for the speed so just gently start okay press this yes now let it go Take the clip off. Okay, remember it's a curve. Oh yeah, I tried to do the curve. Okay, I can't do it. and back stitch again. No? Yes. Okay, let it come off the fabric. So keep stitching until you will be. Oh. Wait, you don't need to stop. Stop. No? Are you off the fabric? Yeah, yes. I think so. so cut. Lift it for a second. Okay, next one. The fact that it's pink. Yes, two different colored. This isn't actually that hard to sew. I thought it'd be harder. See, no more stitch. I love the fact that I can do maximum speed and I don't have to worry about anything. Minimum speed. Maximum. No, because I'm pressing it hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you want higher speed? No. I love this, Mike. So where this is actually pressing on this? Yes. Just keep slowly going. I'm monitoring from here. That sounds wrong, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> catch! Or it doesn't catch. It did catch! It did yeah. catch. It did catch, but it doesn't look like it. Okay, so just turn them onto the right side. This is gonna be difficult. Well, I hope Elfie enjoys them. I'm sure she will. Any holes? Eh. In the legs? <laughs> okay, so now we need to. Hello, Ripper. Even them out, so you can sew the trousers. Okay, we'll do the rest of the sewing off camera. Yes, so it will go quicker. We did enjoy this activity together, and we actually do like to do stuff like that together. In the previous years, we made us some other clothes, so I hope they will get used out of them. Okay, so my mom left the clothes for the elves on the kitchen table and they're now gone but we got the note. Okay, could you read the note? Dear Alice, thank you so much for 
all the clothes you and your mum made us made for us. We love everything. We don't think we need more clothes. We don't want to cause too much trouble. It would be nice to have a comfy comfy bed we could sleep in. Happy's getting old and he's complaining about his sore back. A little <laughs> bit grumpy today. Yeah, he will be grumpy old man. Yes, grumpy old man. Leg ripper. Yes. We are looking forward to for to grammar. I am just gonna fix your grammar a little mm-hmm. bit. To the first of December. We cannot wait to spend next few, to spend the next few weeks with you. Elfie and Happy. Yeah, you know, English is not their first language. They talk elfish first. So do you think we will be making bed for Elfie and Happy? Yeah. Okay, are we gonna make uh, like a, a sleeping bag that they can take with them whenever they will leave? Mm. Or do you want to do Oh, yes, for a comfy bed. Okay. Not a comfy sleeping bag. Okay, so how you're going to make a bed? I assume that they just want pillow and duvet or mattress or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, we have a... Or, do we still have that double Barbie bed? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Why if we, like, made it... Use that, but made it a bit more comfy. Okay. Like, use that as a frame, basically. Okay. That's a good idea. Are elves coming to your house? What do you think about this tradition? I was told that is unnecessarily, but for me, Christmas is not about the gifts. It's about making memories, the experiences we get to have together. It's about baking cookies and watching Christmas movies and visiting neighbors and family and sending Christmas cards and making little gifts and just being kinder to each other. It's not about who got the most expensive gift or who has the cleanest house. Don't forget to check all other videos coming to you every day. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, give it thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And because there's a lot of Christmas sewing coming ahead, I assume there is, don't forget, clean your sewing machine and change your needle. Oh, one more. My friend Benita asked me to remind her to change the blade on the rotary cutter because she keeps forgetting about this. So, happy sewing. Bye.